He's a legend in the SEC and the Gator Nation takes a knee whenever someone dares to speak his name. When he came to town, everyone went mad in the PR campaign run by Dad ensured he'd reach unheard of heights of fame. He was big and strong and handsome too, and the Gators won and his legend grew, surrounded by talent fit for the NFL. And Tebow ran and Tebow scored, but the fact that everyone ignored was that Tebow really couldn't throw that well. But the championships piled up and the Gator Nation roared And their orange and blue hearts were filled with song And the commentators joined and sang the praises to his name And the truth would be exposed before too long Tebow, Tim Tebow, Tebow Then he went to Denver and in a little while he took the reins and won with style with the quarterback rating lower than the rug. He won a playoff game with a single pass but the next week on New England's grass Belichick's defense crushed him like a bug. Then he bounced around with a couple of teams because he was out to fulfill his dreams and his story was one that everybody loved to tell. But the handwriting was on the wall because even though he could run the ball, he couldn't read defenses or throw it very well. And the faithful cried in anger, and they called it persecution, despite many faithful QBs who've done well. For the special skills he brought, the NFL found a solution. And if you can't throw, you're really SOL. Tebow. Now there's no need to cry and whine, don't worry about it, he'll be fine. He's young and strong and still has many years. Now he's gonna give baseball a try and plenty of folks will line up to buy just about anything on which his name appears. Outside of the stadium where he played, the Gators had three statues made where their Heisman heroes glitter in the sun. Spurrier and Werfel are back to pass, but Timmy's immortalized and shining brass with the ball under his arm and on the run. Tebow, Tim Tebow, he could run it, but he could 